I have with me the young member of parliament from Bengaluru South, Tejasvi Surya, to talk about the horrific violence in certain localities in East Bengaluru on Tuesday night that left three people dead and over 50 injured. Mr. Surya, the violence was allegedly triggered by a derogatory social media post uploaded by a local Congress's legislator's relative. What lapses triggered the event or the incident according to you? The violence that took place in Bangalore over the alleged derogatory Facebook post by the members of the Muslim community does not surprise me at all because this is a pattern that we have been seeing not only in Bangalore but various parts of the country and not only that but various parts of the world whether it was the Charlie Hebdo attack whether it was the um, uh, 1986 Bangalore riots over a, a cartoon in uh, a newspaper in uh, Karnataka in, in Bangalore, whether it was against a movie uh, dialogue in Tamil Nadu. So we have seen these kind of pretexts over which the minority community, especially the Muslims, have uh, run rampage against members of uh, you know, the non-Muslim communities. So. This is not just a mere uh, law and order problem because uh, this is happening all around the world. But you have written to the Chief Minister saying that the Uttar Pradesh, the Yogi Adityanath model of rioters, properties being seized should be adopted in this case. Uh, do you seriously believe that this will work as a deterrent? And if yes, then why not have such a policy be made pan-Indian respective of the religion or political leanings of the rioters? Uh, I have uh, requested the Honorable Chief Minister of Karnataka uh, to follow the UP model where uh, Yogi Adityanath ji uh, uh, made a, uh, a very bold decision of uh, and a right decision of confiscating and attaching the properties of those rioters and uh, 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 ensuring that the public losses caused to pro public property and, uh, uh, and other private property during the riots is uh, compensated through that. And a similar model is now going to be followed in Karnataka uh, because uh, uh, the uh, Honorable Chief Minister uh, has uh, acted upon my request and uh, ordered the same to be done. I thank the Chief Minister as well as the Home Minister for doing so. And most importantly, uh, the Supreme Court, Honorable Supreme Court has also clearly said that uh, in all those instances of riots, um, uh, the, all, the, the rioters' property must be uh, attached and uh, uh, the uh, proceeds from that must uh, go to compensate the loss to public property. So this is uh, already a pan-India um, uh, um, uh, principle of law, which uh, I, I urge all state governments, irrespective of which riot takes place, whether taken place by uh, uh, any organization or community, this must be the uh, uh, procedure that must be followed um, because the public property belongs to the public and nobody no individual person or a group of vandals have the right to destroy that. The Tourism Minister of Karnataka, C.T. Ravi, has said that this is a result of the Congress appeasement that some sections believe that they are, they are above the law. What's your response to that? What uh, uh, Senior Minister Shri C.T. Ravi has said, the SDPI and the Congress are the two sides of the same coin. In Karnataka, the Congress party is in alliance with the SDPI in a couple of municipalities uh, in uh, Mysore and others. And they have this tacit understanding in all elections. And uh, uh, when the Congress party was in uh, power, they made it uh, 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 a point to uh, uh, drop um, um, uh, via a cabinet decision, no less than a cabinet decision, about 1,600 cases that were pending against activists of the SDPI and KFT in Karnataka, which has emboldened them because they know that the Congress will come to support them and stand by them even if they are found on the wrong side of the law. Therefore, this uh, uh, um, uh, impunity comes with the blessings that the Congress and the other secular parties have given them all throughout. And um, more importantly, the um, uh, most of the uh, uh, people who, who, who participate in all of these Tipu Jayanti rallies that uh, the Siddharamaya government was organizing were nothing but uh, were, were these STPI activists. So the Congress not only gives them political impunity, drops cases against them, but also gives them ideological support. And uh, by uh, officially celebrating the uh, Jayanti of a Tipu, of, of a tyrant like Tipu, from whom uh, the SDPI ruffians uh, uh, and hooligans draw inspiration from. 
could the state police have done more to stop or control the flare up in bengaluru east on tuesday night the state uh, uh, has uh, uh, controlled the uh, violence in uh, less than 3 hours uh, but uh, what is uh, uh, surprising is how in in such a short period of time uh, such a large number of people could uh, gather uh, they also had uh, with them petrol bombs uh, machetes iron rods and other material to burn the entire uh, police station and create such kind of a ruckus in such a short period of time so um, even that should be uh, investigated and uh, um, uh, i urge the state government and the chief minister to go to the root of this issue and ensure that those who have committed this blunder those who have committed this uh, 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 crime will be punished as an example that uh, uh, others will not uh, follow again violence is obviously not justified in any case what's your view sir of people taking offense to social media posts and uh, related consequences you know some in uh, some people in bjp rule states have been arrested for posts that have been critical of the prime minister how do you see this balance between freedom of expression and the freedom to take offense playing out in india my view is that everybody must be responsible while posting things on social media and uh, uh, however uh, um, the the point here is um, if there is something that i find derogatory or uh, hurting the sentiments of my religion the law of the land provides a recourse uh, through constitutional means i can file a case in the police station i can file a private complaint at the uh, you know before a magistrate these are the um, uh, courses that are available to me i can go to the high court i can come to the supreme court if i am hurt the, the there is no justification for taking the law into your own hands and um, uh, uh, creating uh, absolute anarchy and arson in this in, in the society